Hello, my name is Fran Sands and welcome to uh, myboxingcoach.com. I had a great question off uh, a pal of mine, someone I work with quite a lot online. And he said he's always interested when commentators, when comparing amateurs to pros, or when they're looking at a pro, a pro fighter, they will say one of two things. Oh, you can really see the amateur pedigree in this guy. Or they will see, oh, oh that's, that's a leftover from his amateur days. He, wants to, he needs to lose that. Um, and Kiss was, my pal was quite sort of curious about this and it kind of confused him a little. So I thought I'd, I'd do a little video, just a little short thing, just to um, give you my perceptions about amateur and amateur boxers or Olympic style boxers and how they can, how they progress into the pro ranks and, and what's the difference. So, so let's address the first thing. When commentators say, well, you can really see the amateur pedigree. What does this mean? And I'll give you my view on it. So the amateur boxing system, the Olympic boxing system, has levels. So you have club level, you have regional level, and you have international level. And people like me, coaches like me all over the world, take young people and build them up and, and develop, help develop their basic skills, all of those skills that they need to do well in order to function as, as good boxers. And if they're good enough, they, they begin to win titles and they advance through regional level. And if they get really good, and as they get older, they'll get to international level. Now, here's where, you know, you start to build that kind of pedigree that these people, these commentators are talking about. As an international uh, boxer, an Olympic-style boxer, you will travel all over the world. You will have full training camps. You will... Um, you will compete against lots of different styles. You can, you know, in, in the same competition, you can you can fight four times in five days, four three-minute fights in five days. And on day one, you could fight a cube, and on, on day number two, you could fight someone from Southeast Asia. Day number three, you could fight someone from Central Asia or, or, or Eastern Asia. And day number four, you could fight someone from the US. You can, you know, you just meet so many different styles of box and you have to learn to overcome them you have to learn to deal with them and you can also you know you're also stepping up your as as a young person there's a big difference between a young person and an adult and this difference is really in terms of strength and mental strength and physical strength so you've got to you know you you've got to have that experience against fighting with adults i won't say boys against men because lots of Female boxers are out there, and the same principle applies, that strength of a full-grown adult. So that pedigree that these guys talk about, these commentators talk about, that's what it is. So when you, you think about your Floyd Mayweather's or any top fighter, De La Hoya, pretty much all of the top fighters in the pro game got to um, got to international level or, or competed at senior level in the, in the amateur ranks. They built up that pedigree and then think about the way in which amateur boxing is to me it's always about mobility and intensity so the rounds are intense and you're on the balls of your feet and it's all about explosive movements because you can afford to do that over 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 three rounds all of a sudden you move into the into, into the pro ranks things are different the pro ranks to me the, the the greatest asset you need to really build is power. You know, you've got to hit people and, and they've got to know they've been hit. You've got to learn this whole new set of tactics, tactics that you just would not get away with, with in an amateur boxing ring, with an amateur boxing referee. Even now where things are a bit more relaxed than they were a number of years ago, now it's still quite strict in an amateur ring. So a lot of things you do in an amateur ring, or a lot of things that get done in an amateur ring, in, in a professional ring, I should say, would simply lead to warnings and, and and, and stoppages uh, in terms of the uh, the referee um, giving deducting points and, and stuff in the amateurs. So the tactics are in a whole world different. And then you've got energy management. You've got to look after your energy. And so all of a sudden you're doing six, eight, 10, 12 round fights. That's a lot different than doing three round fights. Even though in the amateurs, you know, you can fight four times in five days kind of thing. That's a big ask physically and emotionally and mentally. Um, in the pro game, a 12 round fight is, is a big deal. And, and where all that mobility happens, I talk about in the amateur, which is about getting from A to B, avoiding punches, being explosive in and out. All of a sudden in the pro game, to get the power, your feet tend to flatten a bit. You sit down on the punch, as they call it, so that you, you bed in for power. And uh, most of your defensive work, 
shifts towards body movement because it's more efficient you know it's hard bouncing around everywhere on your feet and it's tiring um so yeah that's just a little ramble about well, some of my thoughts about amateur boxers and, and how they progress and develop and what those commentators and whatever you think of commentators but you, you know it is right we do often hear them say oh it's the amateur pedigree or uh, sometimes they'll speak uh, sometimes in, in, in quite disparaging terms about 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 the amateur who needs to lose that that's that's an amateur characteristic an amateur boxing trait that he needs to get rid of so that's just my little uh, rambly explanation Download uh, my book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit, link down below. Lots of stuff in there. In the in the um, electronic version, you get loads of links out to videos of skills and, and you get all kinds of insights into how to structure your training sessions, your training regime, bag work, shadow boxing, really helps you build your, your structured boxing training regime for, for skills and fitness. Okay, my name's Frank Sands and this is mybexingcoach.com.